So I've actually been cooped up for the past month or so doing a lot of client work, busy with that kind of stuff, not being able to do any of my own personal work. And so I thought we could kill two birds with one stone this week and go out on a reference hunt of a particular kind and create characters based off of what we find. So a lot of people, and this is really good practice, is a lot of people will uh, go out, they'll make a reference uh, art of things like animals, uh, plain air paintings of environments and nature. Uh, they'll even go to museums and sketch things like sculptures and other pieces of art as reference. And so what I want to do today is find man-made objects, things like farming equipment, fire hydrants, uh, things you find around railroad stations, things like that, and create characters themed around them. And it's easy to go kind of brave little toaster style, right, where you're adding a set of eyes and a mouth to a character. Um, but what I'd like to skew a little bit further toward is like the robot masters from Mega Man or Transformers, where you're able to use those interesting shapes, but get something that's a little bit more personified or human anatomically related. And of course, when it's possible to, I'll kind of sit wherever the object is and be able to reference it in person and uh, use Procreate on my iPad Pro in order to draw, or we'll just create some photos or take some photos and then work on the character later. So let's see what we can find. Okay, so the first thing of interest that I just found was in an antique store. I can't vouch for how old it actually is, uh, but it's this really elaborate uh, wine bottle opener uh, with really like ornate stuff on top and it's really like a big mechanism for what's essentially a corkscrew. So as far as large outdoor objects or things of interest I'm kind of striking out only because I'm finding things like fire hydrants that have some rust in character but it it feels almost like a you know a photography student taking a black and white shot of a flower or something it just feels a little bit typical to uh, include that or try and reference that. But I did hit a little bit of a jackpot. I uh, found a little old tool shop where they had a ton of old objects, old clamps, old presses, uh, something that looked like an older level system, uh, old pulleys with actual rope and everything, and a lot of things that I want to kind of pull the shapes from and use as we're building characters. So while my plan did change a little bit, I still wanted to take advantage of the beautiful day and found a nice log to sketch on. I assembled some of the best reference that I'd found so far that day. A bell outside of a firehouse, this very retro 60s looking sleek stapler, the level system that I mentioned before, the pulley, and that bottle opener that I initially found. From here, I just want to study the overall shapes of these objects, and as I'm starting to think about turning them into characters, I want to retain as much as I can from the original, especially the sort of character and personality that these objects have. So if I take this old, rusty, cast iron bell, I'm not going to make it a sleek, futuristic robot. I want to retain some of that old iron quality to it. I try a few uh, sort of cartoony takes on the other objects, but honestly this bell has kind of captured my attention. It's such a cool shape inherently, and the structure around the bell supporting it is really unique. So while I didn't exactly copy that sort of A-frame shape of the legs supporting the bell on each side, I did want to retain that cast iron quality of really ornate work. So I kept the shapes more complex than they needed to be. Something about this character's uh, overall structure is for decoration more so than for function. And possibly my favorite shape in this character is the huge shoulder guards that are sort of floating over top of him that kind of represents that shape that's holding the bell over top it in the reference there. For the character's head and face, I tried a few things both on the more robotic side and then on the sort of cartoony and empathetic side. What I settled for though is the face of a character who's clearly ancient or old, who probably is tired of putting up with so much around him. I'm imagining that the head can rotate freely on top of the bell, and also the bell itself is kind of suspended through magnetism or whatever it is, perhaps sound energy or something, uh, from the, that leg system in the shoulders, so it could potentially swing back and forth and ring on its own without any kind of effect to the mechanism around it. 
As far as rendering process goes, I created this character with line art and then used Max Ulichny's gouache brushes to fill in, purposely leaving some of those white spaces in between to add rust to later, and then used a variety of overlay layers, multiply layers, and some more texture over top to get that old rusty feel. Overall, I'm happy that I was A, able to get out of the house a little bit, and B, able to do some personal work that was a little bit more uh, restorative, that kind of helped me exercise and flex my creative muscles a little bit more. This may sound like very silly reasoning to some people, but to me, honestly, turning something into a character, making something a cartoon that was otherwise a purely mechanical and functional thing is a means of finding beauty in what's mundane, the things around us that are plain, uh, adding something extraordinary to things that are otherwise ordinary.